Okay, for number one, uh, 35, we're going to have to look at our slope here as an invisible 1 over 1. That means that when I write my second equation for, for perpendicular, it's going to be negative x. We don't know what our plus b is, though. So we're going to use what we have from this equation, and we're going to put 2 equals negative, negative 1, because I'm taking this negative, and this x for here, plus b. Negative negative 1 is going to become a positive 1, which I'm going to subtract, and I'm going to get 1 is equal to b. So this equation up here, we would replace this plus b with plus 1. For number 36, It is 3x minus 4y equals 8, and we're given 6 comma negative 6 comma 5 as our ordered pair. So I am going to put this first into slope-intercept form by subtracting the 3x, and I get negative 4y is equal to negative 3x plus 8. When I divide all of this by negative 4, I get y is equal to positive 3 over 4x minus 2. So that's really my first equation in the correct form where I can find my slope, meaning my perpendicular line is going to have the negative reciprocal of this, which will be negative 4 over 3x, and we don't know what the b is yet. This will end up being my answer space, and I need to do a little bit more work by plugging this into this equation. So negative 6 is equal to negative 4 over 3 times my x, which is, oops, I put the negative 6 in. This should be 5. And this is negative 6 plus b. Negative 4 times negative 6 is positive 24. Divided by 3 gives me 8. So I have 5 equals 8 plus b. If I subtract that 8, I get negative 3 equals b. And now I can go back to my answer space and subtract the 3.